David, after so many facts, how would you describe Ukraine nation and how do you think it should be known in the world? Well, what we're trying to do is this, uh, and, and I must admit, until we did the research, we didn't understand that Ukraine was in existence long before Russia, that she had independence, and she was forced into um, joining Russia by the sword. And even Christianity came first to the Ukraine long before it entered Russia. It's no use um, Kirill, the head of the Orthodox Church, trying to say what their church is. Kiev and the Ukraine were Christian, I think, 400 years before Christianity went into Russia. And um, I, I see uh, the future of Ukraine as being very positive. The fact that, sadly, it's taken a war to get you international recognition. The fact that your president didn't run away and made such a stand that has impressed the world. And we can see the strength of your resistance with your army. That's why we support and help to train your army. And I see that when the war ends, and I'm praying that it will end very shortly because of death. I mean, I've been to your graves, you know, to honor your dead. The tragedy is the young men that are dying. This affects a whole generation on both sides. I know from, in my own case, with the war, although we defeated Hitler and won the war, we lost so many men. It usually ends up with more than a million. And I do believe that Ukraine will reap the rewards and will get full recognition as an independent nation in the world, but you have to fight for it, and you are fighting.